Today, we're looking at beach camping on the eastern shores of the United States. How's it going? Welcome to the Campendium YouTube channel where it's our hope and our goal to provide you with the, the motivation and the resources to get out there and camp. So if you haven't already, please hit that subscribe button because today we're talking about beach camping on the eastern side of the United States. Now on the Campendium website, we have a great article with tons of information about beach camping. So I'm gonna put a, a link in the description for that. Uh, but there is three things I wanna cover with you today. Number one being safety. You want to be aware of the situation that you're you're going into. So uh, I like to download a, a tide app, uh, like a tide chart is what it gives you, and it'll show you what the high tide and the low tide is gonna be. You want to be aware of what those levels are going to be. And then also weather. Weather is going to be key because uh, bad weather can mean a lot of bad things when you uh, combine the bad weather with high seas, it can be disastrous. So. Uh, know your information, know your tides, know your weather, and even check with maybe some of the officials there at the park or uh, park rangers to see if there's any cause or concern with the, the weather and the tides that are coming for where you are camped. The second and third thing I wanna go over is if you're actually gonna be camping on the sand. There's some great locations where you can camp on the sand, uh, but you wanna be prepared for that. So a few things you can do is you wanna scout it out before you drive on the sand to see how firm it is, to see if it's safe to drive on that sand. If, you're, if you determine that it is safe to drive on it, you can air down your tires so that you can gain more traction, not sink in the sand as easily. But if you do that, you wanna make sure that you have an air compressor to be able to air your tires back up after you leave the beach. It's also a good idea to have a shovel, toe strap, and all that good stuff. So now that you have those tips down, let's dive into some of these amazing locations. So we're gonna start on the eastern side of the states for this video, and we're gonna start up in Maine. First on the list is Cobbs Cook Bay State Park. This place looks beautiful, along with Shudik Woods Campground. Camperman Dan said, this is a keeper. Spectacular, this was our first time visiting this park and boy, what a gem. The sites were huge and fairly level, quiet and easy access and location was great for visiting the park in the area. It's a 10, 10, 10 park. Moving on to Winslow Park and Campground, Linda says, we arrived at this amazing park without reservations and were met with gracious smiles and a warm welcome before being given our filtered sun site number 76. This park is absolutely gorgeous with spacious sites. Let's move on to Lobster Buoy Campsite, where Tomp says, off the beaten track in the real Maine and the center of what Maine was 50 years ago. Searsport Shores Campground looks amazing, and Island Girl Walkabout said, this was one of our all-time favorite campgrounds. The location is lovely. As with many privately owned campgrounds, it reflects pride of ownership. Our campsite was one of the prime spots on the water overlooking a fantastic tidal pool area. Moving down the coastline to Massachusetts is Race Point Beach Camping. Tiger Nomad shared these pics and said, this camping is literally on the beach, feet from the ocean. The permit costs $75 for seven nights of camping. Not a bad deal for being right on the sand. It looks like New York has a couple of great options for beach camping. Montauk County Park, where you can drive on the beach, and Shinnecock East County Park. Now in Virginia, we have First Landing State Park. Watson's Wander say, we spent a week here enjoying our site. Long walks on the beach and some great hiking and biking trails. Now let's dive into some Carolinas. Now North Carolina has some great options. Flanners Beach Campground looks amazing along with Cape Lookout National Seashore. We had a comment from Doggon RV about Carolina Beach State Park. Did I just dream this trip? This campground was a dream. The sites are huge, treed and fairly level compared to other campgrounds I have stayed at. In South Carolina, we have Adesto Beach State Park. MB says, if you like all the commercial atmosphere of, of Myrtle Beach, this is not for you. But if you like to just relax, listen to the waves and pick up shells, this is your spot. Moving on to Florida, they obviously have some amazing beach camping. There's Peters Point 
Beachfront Park, Fort Clinch State Park. Margaret said, great beach camping. This was our second time here and it was just as wonderful as the first. The facilities are immaculate and the beach is quite beautiful. Then there's Anastasia State Park. BB Van Life gave it five stars and said, we were lucky to snag a site here for two nights. And one of the last sites we wanna share with you today is Gamble Rogers Memorial State Recreational Area. People say it's a beautiful beach site, one of our favorite spots ever, and glorious beachfront camping. Well, I hope this list gave you some ideas and some motivation to get out there and camp if you're on the eastern side of the United States. I know for, for me and my family, we're dying to get to that side of the United States and check out some of these amazing locations. So as always, we wanna remind you to hit that subscribe button to keep exploring and to travel safe. We will see you next time.